August 4th, a very important day of blessing because it's a priestly blessing coming from the high priest himself. He blesses and keeps. Numbers 624, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. And this is a blessing that the Lord tells Moses to tell Aaron and his sons how to bless the people of Israel. And this is the priestly blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. That's the peace that we need. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. We are a new creation. We are a new you in Christ, saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In Galatians chapter 6 and verse 16, it talks about the new creation. Peace be to even the Israel of God. And this is why we need to always remember that not only the blessing comes upon us, but he also keeps us in the shadow of his wings, that no evil can come before us or against us. And it is wonderful because it's a delightful thing to be kept by God, you know, possessed by God. He's a jealous God, kept by him, kept near him, kept in him, kept for him, preserved from all evil for unboundless happiness. That is the true meaning of godly contentment is great gain. But the wages of sin is death. So this is the promise that Charles Spurgeon brings on August the 4th to all of us. It's a blessing that he will keep us from all danger. Lo, I will be with you always, always.